Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Lodi at the LifeCo um, Wellness Center here in Phuket, Thailand. And today I want to talk about, uh, answer a few of the most commonly asked questions regarding the, uh, the recent um, um, growing pandemic, uh, the coronavirus. Um, so the, the questions that are most frequently asked are, um, what is you know what is the coronavirus and is it a death sentence and absolutely not it's um, um, it's actually a very mild virus it only has a, a, about a two percent mortality rate at this point um, which is very mild when we look at uh, influenza it's up 10 15 even 20 percent death rate so influenza is much bigger danger in the US this year uh, 10,000 people have died already I'm not talking about it um, and the few that have died in China, or the, the, the two, three hundred that have died have been in China. Uh, one has died in the Philippines. Uh, none in Thailand. And in fact, in Thailand, it is, um, um, we've only had suspected cases um, and everyone has been released with no problems at all. So is it a death sentence? Clearly not. Clearly not. Um, and the people that are affected are the same people that, are, um, that die from... Um, from uh, influenza and uh, almost any virus, and that is people who are immunocompromised. And when we're talking about immunocompromised people, we mean people who ha have HIV, um, untreated HIV. If you're, tr if you're being treated with HIV, then you're okay. Um, uh, secondly, uh, people that have cancer who may have an immune uh, compromise, um, elderly, and uh, many of the people that, are, that have died in China are actually over 65 or debilitated in one way or another. Um, uh, and again, of course, um, any uh, young children who had immunocompromised um, conditions. So basically, the average person is not at risk, and especially here in Thailand, really, there's no risk. <clears throat> All right, so then what should you do when you're traveling, though? I mean, you should do something. If you feel comfortable wearing a mask, wear a mask. You know, uh, Get the smallest, finest you can. Um, but I don't want you to think you have to. You don't by any means. What would be more important is to do a few things like get vitamin C. Vitamin C you can get in an oral form uh, many places. Make sure when you buy vitamin C that that's all that's in the bottle. You know, you don't need other stuff with it. You just need vitamin C. Get some sort of pure form of vitamin C. And take uh, anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams four to five times a day. Okay? And you just take that. The other thing I would recommend is zinc, 30 milligrams, three times a day. Okay, and you just, you just take those and those pretty much. The other, uh, other very important thing to take acutely is vitamin A. And that's the, vitamin A is, um, you've heard of, you know, carrot. The word carrot came from carotenoid. And so they are carotenoids. <clears throat> we usually think of beta carotene. Well, there are other carotenes. There's alpha and there's gamma. So get the mixed carotenoid. So just get a mixed uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, and zinc. Take those while you travel and uh, make sure you get to sleep early. Um, you're you're going to probably, if you're traveling on a vacation, uh, you're probably going to have a tendency to overeat uh, or to eat too frequently and things like that. And most likely you're going to um, drink some alcohol. So what, you, what I would advise during this period, do that in moderation. Don't do your usual um, you know, full-on party, you know. Um, but make sure you get plenty of sleep. So even if you find yourself, you wound up at a party, you ate too much, you drank too much, get to sleep. And then don't do it the next day. Okay, another question is, does wearing a mask help? Um, I've been in the airports recently because I travel quite a bit. Um, and um, I think only two or three people don't have masks. Everyone's wearing masks. It's become um, almost like a fad. <clears throat> Do they help? That's questionable because if you if you understand how big these how small these viruses are, um, they're like anywhere from 20 to 400 nanometers. Um, and you remember, there's a thousand nanometers in a, in a in a micrometer, so these are very very tiny. So, and this is smaller than the than the dust particles that you're worried about with with with, with toxic air, smog smogged air. So it's really it might help you to some degree, but again, it's not going to protect you. What you need to be protected is to have a strong immune system. So if you're traveling and you and you just feel better by wearing a mask, 
uh, do it. But you got to realize what we know about flus, what we know about colds, is that they're not, people don't usually sneeze on each other's face. They don't usually cough in each other's face. Most of the time, people cover up and they cough into their hand or they sneeze into their hand. And we find that, in fact, there has been, there's been a lot of studies over the years where they they'll get a they'll get a group of families. <clears throat> um, in a, like a school district and have them wash their hands five times a day, six times a day, ten times a day, whatever it is, and they have much less, uh, uh, they, they contract it much, le much less in those families than the other families. So even though it's in the droplet form, it's aerosolized and all that, it's really not face to face. People don't do that and it's not floating around the air. What happens really is you've coughed on your hand, you touch someone, you shake their hand, they touch themselves and that's mo really the way in which this thing is spread. So I personally don't wear a mask and it's um, and I travel weekly and I'm okay. <laughs>